Hi, a very good morning to all of you. Today with us, we have Jeeva, who has secured admission at Delhi School of Economics for the academic session 2024-25. Hi, Jeeva. Uh, thank you so much for taking out time and to give uh, share your experience with all of us. Hi, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, Jeeva. So let's let's begin with the very basic thing, which is about your background, academic background in bachelor's. From where exactly you completed your bachelor's, and what was the course you were enrolled in? So I have done my bachelor's from Miranda House College, Delhi University, and uh, I was the economic. I was from economics background. I done my economics honors. Okay. Great. So, great. Great. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Jeeva, so like I know, almost every every economic honors student from DU, they always have that dream of going to D school, right? So, so when was the first time you thought, he, uh, I want to do master's, I want to do master's in economics from D school? When was that stage? Was it like in second year or the third year when you started your actual preparation? When was exactly that scenario? Yeah. So I had this idea to go for master's only. So I started my preparation from third year. Actually, yeah. I started preparing very late. Like uh, yeah. when I joined coaching in last September, I, the batch was already started in June. So, so I, I was a little late. So I yeah. was so tense, like uh, how could I how could I manage to cover all this? So, um, and I, I was from back, economics background. So uh, it was, uh, it was, bit easy for me to cover the basic videos right. and um my like uh, i have i want i wanted either to go to dsc or jnu um for the masters but i didn't clear jnu's uh cut off so i am now ended up in dsc but yeah. like uh dsc is also uh my uh, was also my dream uh college for masters okay and i had idea to uh start prepare preparation from third year so um, in the fifth semester, I started preparing, but between the fifth semester exams, I couldn't prepare uh, well because of the exams. So okay. I uh, I had a break and then I restarted my preparation uh, from the sixth semester. Okay, yeah. great. So th there are a couple of things uh, which actually comes out from the entire scenario that you mentioned. First being first key, uh, you started a bit late from your point of view, which was around August, September, if I'm not wrong, correct? So that helps students, the current students who feel ki, uh, because the batch has started now, so they feel ki ni mera sara content, I have missed out on something. But even with the other student of your batch, uh, Shruti, I was talking to her, she also started almost at the same stage. So as long as you are determinant enough and regular enough, I think students can make it with the sole determination to to pursue their goal, right? Okay. Absolutely, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I did the recorded batch, so uh, I I was not in, I was not attending live classes, so right. I was so just like uh, how could I uh, really solve the prop uh, solve my doubts? So there was this Telegram group, and I that really helped me to solve all the problems and all my doubts. Right. And uh, when I started preparing late, uh, I had this. Um, I I had the idea to cover all the syllabus first. So mm -hmm. uh, and I took the integrated coaching for JAM, GATE, and CVT. Right. So first, uh, my preparation was to cover all the syllabus of all these exams. Mm -hmm. And uh, after JAM and GATE, I focused really on CVT, and uh, I I've done I've covered all the videos and took all the notes. Uh, done all the problems and uh, all the mock tests everything. So yeah, even even I, I when student asks ki meko kuch aur to nahi karna, I have to do anything else. So I tell them just stick to your portal hundred percent. That is that is the least you can do. Agar apne wo sara kar liya, of course then the there is no limit to go and uh, get the content. But the portal has to be done almost hundred percent. So so great that you took. Uh, you did all the mocks and the assignments, notes and everything. So great. I, I couldn't have asked any, anything more from my students. So great, great, Jeeva. Okay. So uh, Jeeva, there's one uh, query, in fact, one doubt or one hesitation that student have, ki, uh, apart from starting a late or early, that during the semester exams, okay, 
दे आर नॉट एबल टू अटेंड द क्लासेस रेगुलरली ठीक है सो देर इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ गैप इन बिटवीन चाहे वो आपका शायद जुलाई में किस किसी किसी यूनिवर्सिटी में दे विल हैव सेमेस्टर एग्जाम्स बट द मेन एग्जाम्स लाइक फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर्स आर दे कम यूजली इन द विंडो ऑफ डिसम्बर टू जनवरी सो हाउ डिड यू मैनेज द एंटायर फेज ऑफ कीपिंग योर सेल्फ बिजी विद सेमेस्टर एग्जाम्स एंड राइट आफ्टर दैट coming back to the zone of the entrances so how, what was your strategy in that particular zone specially so uh, when i started in the last september uh, in the first two first few months i uh, covered the basic and intermediate videos almost mm-hmm. all and then uh, when i was like uh, when i was watching the advanced videos mm-hmm. uh, my exams came fifth semester exams came so i was like um, i my hours of study has reduced Uh, at that time uh, i studied for 4 to 5 hours uh, before that and uh, during the exam time i i studied only for 1 to 2 hours and yeah. i studied uh, the semester sorry for the semester exams so that that was really um, hard for me because uh, i was having these thoughts like uh, how i was not studying for the entrance and uh, how could i restart my preparation and after right after the semester exams i restarted and uh, i i just uh, I, i have increased my uh, study hours right. yeah you ha- you can do this because even if you are uh, lagging behind you can you you would be able to um, come up and you would be able to uh, cover all these because uh, if you have the if you have studied consistently right. and uh, yeah okay okay so yeah like if you, if you are able to do that thing regularly before the semester exams then you can afford those one two weeks of gap and manage it somehow but you were still able to do it for at least an hour that at least maintain the continuity of the preparation so so great great okay so the uh, the reasons i i ask these questions shoot at you guys is because when you guys tell all these students they they are more impactful uh compared to me telling them because that's a very common query among students for years ki uh, we are not able to cope up with our college and the entrance preparation that's pretty common and i guess you have uh, pretty much summed it up very well how you can in a easier way approach the entire process okay uh jiva uh look uh, again another because the purpose of the interview is to help out students take care so currently uh because d school has taken a toll in terms of its uh, reputation in the sense ki not many students are they, they kind of have a dilemma ki whether they should go dsc or not or for different reasons theek hai maybe because the it's not the same anymore or because the the teachers or the faculties are not the ones they were usually and the most importantly kyunki wahan ka curriculum is very tough ठीक है, so we won't be able to handle that much of pressure. so again, uh, to you as well, was there any ever thought कि uh, if I get into D school, how will I be able to manage it? it's very tough. my 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 seniors tell me, uh, my some of my peer students who have uh, asked their seniors or howsoever it is. so is there anything in mind in yours कि how how will I be able to manage it at D school? Uh, yes sir. i ha- i always had this thought like uh, how could i manage to study in the dsc because when i um, when i see the course curriculum in dsc and jnu i was like uh, okay i'll take the jnu uh, jnu because mm-hmm. it's like uh, more theoretical so okay. i like the theory uh, theory subjects more uh, i like quanti- quantitative subjects also but uh, i i more i like is basic so uh but then uh, and also i heard from the seniors that the uh, the course is very regressive and uh, dropout rates are so high and mm-hmm. they are, they are always uh, scaring us so um but uh, that's why i said like uh, i w- wanted to go to jnu but okay. now i am in dsc so i i'm uh, i am getting mot- i am motivating myself to manage uh, the course and i am preparing my mind to uh, mind uh, to uh, to do dsc and to take the course correct i guess uh, destiny always have something better for you 
then what even you can think for yourself. And I guess DSC is one of those steps which will definitely take you to next level, next height, especially in the domain of economics for sure. Don't worry about that. Take care. Okay. Uh, so Jiva, uh, what post masters? What's there in your mind? Post masters? Is it like the civils, net, corporate? So what exactly is in your mind right now? Um, in my mind, I'm uh, I was always into government sector, like uh, government exams, mm -hmm. civil. Uh, so uh, that's why I chose JNU because the course would be uh, with in uh, with you. correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I was not thinking about the corporates, but uh, now I have this backup option as corporates also. Mm -hmm. So I'll be, I'll be going, I don't know <laughs> right now, I'll be going for civils uh, and into RBA exams and government exams, right. ES and all. Got it. So no, uh, because uh, the, the path that you're going for now, which is civils, chaiwo RBI, ho, chaiwo IES, ho, uh, your your knowledge at D school will help you far more as compared to the JNU one. That is for sure. And and I'm telling you that you will uh, experience it once you start your preparations for those exams because you will have that intellect to to prepare for those exams and most importantly to crack those exams for sure. So yeah, great, great. Okay, uh, Jiva. Uh, in terms of strategy, right? So I know in different uh, phases you have mentioned about your strategy. So what overall was your normal schedule in a day in terms of preparation, right? Because uh, you have to manage everything. Okay, college is one thing, but of course you need to make sure ki ha, I have to prepare for my entrances and today so and so much of uh, time I will devote to let's say micro or macro and accordingly. So what was your schedule in the entire day like or preparation strategy over? So my preparation strategy was like um, in a day, I'll spend four to five hours for studying uh, studying after college. And uh, like in a semester, ex uh, for semester exams, we'll study only uh, when the exams <laughs> approaches. Hey. So uh, other time we'll, uh, I, okay. I, Put my efforts more on the uh, more for studying entrance. So um, and my preparation, like I'm from economics background, so I was like uh, I covered basics very quickly, uh, basics and intermediate videos very quickly. And uh, after that, uh, I didn't I didn't watch all the videos of advanced lectures because for CUAT it was not necessary to watch all these. So I watched uh, the course structures like uh, for at the points course structure was really good like basic intermediate and advanced so that helped me to study in a systematic manner and um, after that I had this um, like for uh, for everyone I uh, I would recommend one thing is to have a book where uh, you can write all the uh, small small tips and all the uh, solutions and hmm. tricks to solve some problems okay. so uh, that that would really help i had this book so that uh, really helped me to revise uh, towards the end of towards the end of my preparation and revision marathons uh, we have to cover all the revision marathons uh, and um, mock test will help me will uh, help me uh, to uh, to use how how to use the time efficiently so uh, and during the exam i really panicked and I uh, that was the reason why I got some negative marks because I didn't use time. Uh, I didn't. I I uh, took one minute for one question. Okay. I took one minute uh, for to uh, to solve the one question, and I uh, I gone through all the questions, but I couldn't uh, get time to revise the answers, revise my answers, and come uh, come, back. come back. So that was yeah. You have to use time in a very efficient manner. Um, and uh, these were the uh, things that I did during my preparation. Great, great. So, yeah, I guess you have summed it very well. And the one important point that you have highlighted is that to prepare those shorthand notes or the tricks that you can jot it down in a, in a separate register so that right before the exams, you don't have to go through the entire content again, rather open those registers of specific subjects and just cover that portion. 
so so great strategy jeeva right okay uh, once again jeeva thank you so much for taking out time and when i say that i really mean it because uh, it means uh, a lot in terms of your acknowledgement for our efforts and sharing your experience with us and of course among all the students and we hope all the strategies the experience the journey that you highlighted over here in this session will definitely help even more students not only from miranda house but of course from across the country thank you so much jeeva thank you sir thank you so much okay.